We're going to talk about how to graph a function and its inverse, and we're going to use this function y equals 4 minus x squared for x greater than or equal to 0. Now at this point I'm assuming you already know how to graph y equals 4 minus x squared. We're going to restrict it to just x greater than or equal to 0 so that the function is 1 to 1 and has an inverse. So let's go look at what happens to the graph. I'm going to kind of skim over this part. We're going to graph one side of y equals x squared and then think about what happens to the changes in it. When we do y equals negative x squared, it's going to make the old y's negative, so it's going to reflect it across the x-axis. When we add in the 4, that means it's going to move that piece of it up 4. So let's go look at Wally Plus. Here's what Wally Plus offers us. There's various portions of a parabola. All kinds of portions of parabola. So here would be the original y equals x squared graph. But we don't get to use the whole thing. We only get to use it where x is greater than or equal to zero. So let's get rid of that part. Well, this is the first part. When you do y equals negative x squared, you make the y's negative. So everybody but zero, zero, all those y's become negative. So let's get rid of this guy and switch it to this guy. And we never need this one. So now we want this curve to go up 4. So we're going to hit this guy and go up 4. So this is our original function, y equals 4 minus x squared. It's going to go through 0, 4, and then go down like this. Let's think about what our, we want our inverse to do. If this guy ends at 0, 4, then the inverse is going to go through 4, 0. So it's going to go through here. We also know that any point that's on the line of symmetry will be shared by both graphs. So it's going to start here, it's going to go through there, this one goes through to 0, so our inverse is going to have to go over here through 0, 2. It looks like one of these other pieces is going to do that. Maybe this one. Let's see. So if we grab this over to 4, 0, it is going to go through that shared point on the y equals x line, and it does go through 0, 2. So our original graph goes through 2, 0. Our inverse graph goes through 0, 2. This looks pretty good, and we're done.